so I'm I'm 34, so I grew up listening to Whitney. I'm that sort of right yeah. age. And but I all I knew of her when I was sort of growing up was outside the music was the kind of tabloid stuff, which was obviously mm. quite a negative depiction from what I remember. How important is it with this film? You think it is to celebrate her humanity and her music as the kind of primary thing? The most. The most. That's <laughs> it's really yeah. important. Yeah, because like you said earlier, that people have a tendency to remember, yeah, they remember her music, but they have a tendency to remember that, that really mm. sort of tragic period towards mm. the end and all the tabloids and all that sort of stuff. Mm. When in fact that was a part of her life, mm -hmm. but it was not all of, all of her life. Mm. And I was, and I was wondering what the sort of primary resource was for you, because there's so much to work with. Yeah. I mean, there's documentaries, there's kind of, you know, there's, there's a biographies, there's, mm. there's articles, there's so much. I just wondered about, in accessing this character and playing yeah. Whitney, was there something that was considered a bit of a Bible for you? Was it the script or was it, or did you have something that you really lent on? I kind of didn't, I, in a, it's a bad way to say it, but I didn't say loyal to any of it. Mm. I kind of used everything. Mm. Um, picked apart things and whatever was useful mm -hmm. for the day that I felt like using it <laughs> was the thing that mm -hmm. I felt like doing. Mm -hmm. So I didn't necessarily, I tried to make plans about today's dialect for five hours and this and then that and that and then in the end I was just like follow the instinct and wherever that curiosity led me I would mm -hmm. focus on. Well, it's such a fantastic role. Do you remember when, where you, you were when you first got the part and who was the first person you told? I was in my house, mm -hmm. I was in lockdown. Um, yeah, I, talk, I call my dad. I usually call my dad. And he knows when I'm about to tell him good news because I go, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a specific way. And like, yeah. there's a dad yeah. is asking for something, mm, but yeah. dad is, I've got good news. Mm. So he was like, that's, What is that's it? That's really funny. And I was like, Whitney. And he was yeah. like, ha, ha, ha. And then he was just like, Ho, ho, ho. Mm. And laughs it out. <laughs> Her father is Santa Claus. Yeah, <laughs> my dad is. My dad is Santa Claus. <laughs> I was say, Stanley, just following that, across your kind of wonderful <laughs> career, do you, is there a role that you got that you f remember making you feel the most excited of, 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 of any of the ones you've been given? Um, yeah, there's a lot. Mm. There's a lot of them. I, yeah. I feel very fortunate. That I think a role that, uh, doing the film Conspiracy many years ago with Colin Firth. Mm. Mm. Um, that's a really important film that uh, you know this tells the story of the Nazis sort of figuring out yeah. the final solution. Uh, and playing the role of Eichmann was an incredible challenge, mm. and but also you're you're in this really important piece of filmmaking, mm. and then I think another one with Colin mm. too, which was um, uh, Supernova. Oh, I love mm. that. That mm. the d a director came to me and asked me, you know, would you be interested in doing this? Mm. And I was like, oh my God, it's absolutely yeah. beautiful, of course, mm. because roles like that don't, don't come around, and films like that don't come mm. around very often. Mm. Um, and then I asked Colin to do it with me, and. And it works, yeah. Is that the one you told me that you'd be on a train? That what? Oh, with that what? Oh, on the train on the way back. Yeah, from, from the Lake District. From the Lake District. Come back on the weekend. Burger King. Yeah, but it was McDonald's. Can you imagine? There was no place to eat. There was no place to eat, and we were starving. We'd finished working, and then we'd get mm -hmm. like McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And, a, and I'd bring a bottle of wine and we'd yeah. have McDonald's mm. and wine really on the train. Nice it was really oh, disgusting. Right. McDonald's and wine isn't generally... It's no, it's not. No, I just... Ugh, the it's whole like thing the was best awful. image. Like two <laughs> of the classiest men in Hollywood <laughs> <laughs> talking into a McDonald's. <laughs> just like awful. <laughs> I know we're here to talk about Winnie, but Stanley, Searching yeah. for Italy is one of the great shows of the like the last great. year. Oh, everyone, because I was just I was interested to know because I mean everyone I know loved it, but when you made it as proud of it as you are, were you still quite surprised with, at the kind of reaction it sort of? I'm still it surprised. Got? Yeah, I'm still surprised. So cool. I, I don't, I'm shocked. Yeah. I'm shocked. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I, I made the courgette, the zucchini dish. Did. I did. It wasn't. It, didn't was look, it? it was. It was all right. I had to right. do a lot of travelling around to find provolone cheese around London. Oh, that I took love a long provolone. time. Mm. Oh, I that's love a provolone. provolone. Yeah. Is that in, oh, it? Is that not <laughs> in your recipe book? That's the one I found online. It was like the yeah. New Yorker did a recipe of it, and that's what they put in there. Oh they seem to have recreated what they believe. They're wrong. Oh. You didn't do that. The New Yorker? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 but, but back to Eddie Cooker. I just wanted to ask for you yeah. personally, because I mean, some of the outfits are so iconic. I mean, yeah. I, I remember the, the kind of the, the black leather of um, It's Not Right, but It's Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, the bow in um, mm. I Want to Know. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. Will I Know. How Will I Know, sorry. Yeah. And I just, I just wondered about wearing those and recreating those moments. I'm assuming you've probably seen already just yeah. as a fan yeah i mean it's it's, it's a really lovely part of it because you kind of know it and so you can fill up that space with what you think you know and then with all the research that you do you're like oh my gosh this is the moment mm. but i guess it's also like kind of literally like in in, t in terms of like filling a pair of shoes mm. it's like literally trying <laughs> to fill fill a pair of shoes and fill an outfit you're just like oh 
this is very real. <laughs> it's not going back. No, I can't pull out. Yeah, because they're really distinctive images, very distinctive. aren't they? Like we remember, as soon as you see it, you're you like, go, oh my oh, God, yeah. Yeah, so that was that was a something. I was finding it interesting because we know it's iconic, but you playing the character didn't know yet. Doesn't it's going to be iconic. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. so yeah. funny? Right. Yeah. yeah, it's just like, oh, this is just what I'm throwing on today. And everyone's <laughs> right. like, I'm wearing that for Halloween. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyway, well, I thought you were both wonderful in the film, so thank congratulations. You. Oh, thank, thank you. Much, Cheers, darling. thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!